months this year. So today we're in at Triple Eight, my normal race team or my normal job. Um, we just come in, we've raced Darwin on the weekend. Um, so yeah, come in, see the engineers and sort of talk about it as much as I can, debrief it before we go to America. Yeah, he rang up and said, got an opportunity to drive a NASCAR. And I went, oh wow, just excited for him. He's gonna gain a massive amount of experience. Um, he's gonna learn a lot. And I reckon he'll enjoy it a lot if he gets a good result, you know, and, and, and yeah, it's hard just jumping in, jumping into a foreign car and just doing a one-off event. It's, it's difficult to be absolutely on the, on the pace, but um, at the same time, Shane knows what he's doing, it's a, it's a road course, so um, there is opportunity there to, to do some good things. So fingers crossed he has a clean run, everything runs well, the car's reliable, he feels good behind it and gets the most out of himself. And yeah, he represents, um, as I say, this side of the world as in, in the highest possible light. So dad was always into motorsport um, and all his friends and yeah, I used to go watch him and I you know, love going to the rallies and stuff and being part of that. And um, yeah, just always wanted to have a go. And I started on quad bikes when I was eight. My neighbors were racing quad bikes. So yeah, started tagging along with them and got into it that way. Did a year of go-karting when I turned 12, I think. But yeah, sort of didn't really enjoy it too much. It was too serious and quite full on. So yeah, stuck with Speedway and um, yeah, kept racing motorbikes till I came over to supercars basically. Well, I normally love the street circuits, like the way that you have to drive so committed. Basically you use the mirrors as feelers on the wall and yeah, the curbs and stuff. So yeah, it's something we, we always go well at, but as a driver, I, I love them. Biggest difference, I guess, from our supercar to the NASCAR I'm gonna have to get used to is obviously you're sitting on the other side of the car. So that's a big difference when we go to a street circuit, when you get used to the walls and stuff, you've got the whole car on the other side of you. So it's gonna be a bit different for me. And then it's still a sequential gearbox. I think it's a five speed instead of a six. So you're obviously changing gears with the other hand as well, which will be a bit different. Um, and then it has no doors either. So you gotta climb in through the window, whereas normally we have doors on our car. So looking at last year's NASCAR or year before, they were very difficult, tough to drive with the H pattern and the way it was all set up with the rear end. So now that they've gone to independent rear end, sequential gearbox, certainly makes it easier for someone like me or Kimmy to come in and have a race. So yeah, I, I'm under no illusions it'll be easy, but certainly um, it's a lot closer to what I'm used to. Yeah, so I always right foot brake. Um, I think most people in NASCAR left, mainly with the ovals, but I'm told that you can right foot on the, on the street circuit. So that'll suit me because I, um, I feel like I'm gonna go through the windscreen when I left foot brake. It's gonna be pretty interesting, isn't it? Having someone in your ear. Like yeah, you can hear in the Coda one, they have like four spotters and it like goes from yeah. guy to guy around the track. It's quite different. Is that because the vision's bad in, in them or what? I don't know. So yeah. That's how they've always done it. When I've done Daytona 24, they've had spotters. Yeah. That's quite, it is quite handy. If there's anything I can do to help, I'll, I'll help, but obviously it'll just be interesting to be involved with it, really. Yeah, so we've got a new Bell helmet for the weekend with some Trackhouse brandings. Yeah, and then of course got all my personal sponsors and Quadlock as well, which saw the car and got all excited. So they rang up the team and now they're on the car as well. So that's pretty awesome to have them along for the ride. I obviously saw a lot of articles about it with Kimmy doing it for the first time and then Justin reading his articles or listening to them with his plans for the project and what they want to achieve and um, yeah, getting drivers from all around the world. So I got in touch with Paul Morris, who knew Boris said. And then Boris, I think, talked to Justin and put in the good word. So yeah, then it was cool to connect with Justin, talk about it, and uh, that was late last year. And then he said, yeah, if an opportunity comes next year, we'd love to have you. And we just kept in touch, I guess. So really excited and thankful that they chose me as the next driver for Project 91 and hopefully can represent it well.